right? Shalom, shalom, shalom. I want to give all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, man, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, which really, that's a Greek translation of Yahweh Shai, bro. Caesar Borgia is not Yahweh Shai or, or Jesus, bro. Okay? We're not going to play that game. But I'm getting to taking care of your wife as your own body. So I follow this woman on Instagram for uh, fitness purposes. I don't even really watch most of the fitness videos because you know, I've been an athlete my whole life, just like a lot of you brothers and sisters. But I'm using use them as an example. So you see how her husband, I mean, I don't know if this is her husband, but I'm just assuming. Or uh, the man right he is helping his woman has helped me take care of herself and the caption says one thing i refuse to do is to go home is go home to a woman with a flat ass your man shouldn't either okay so again i don't know if they're married or whatever but then again that's not my business but i'm gonna use them use them as an example so let's get ephesians 5 and that new covenant be imitators of Yahweh God, right? So don't let no, don't let these uh, fruitcakes in the Israelite community and all these weirdos tell you you sinning because the Heavenly Father designed us with uh, so much libido and a desire to procreate. That's not a sin. That's completely normal. That's not no fornication, brother. You're not focused on the kingdom. This gay spirit a lot of brothers have man y'all got to read the scriptures be ye therefore followers of Yahweh as dear children so you're following god when you do this and walk in love aka charity first corinthians 13 shout out apostle paul as christ also hath loved us and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to Yahweh for a sweet smelling savior right but fornication let's pause for people who don't study fornication Fornication, the Greek word is pernea. It says illicit sexual intercourse, all right? I'm going to keep breaking this down because people hate to read. Illicit, it means what? Forbidden by law, rules, or custom. So you have to know the customary, you have to know the unlawful sexual intercourse is according to the Torah, man. Not, oh, she pretty and brother, oh, he handsome. Because y'all taking Sirach out of context and Proverbs. But adultery, right? Having sex with other men's wives and being a whoremonger, pumping and dumping, which is fornication, homosexuality, lesbianism, women on women, and of course with animals, bestiality. Then it goes into idolatry. So that's fornication. It's not you fornicating, brother, because you, de you desire help me. And no, but behind closed doors. These are the same elders being hypocrites. And all uncleanness or covetousness, right? Covetous means when you desire what somebody else have, man. So I use women or men symbolically. That don't mean I desire them, bro. For you people who don't have reading comprehension. But covetous means you're greedy. Desire to have more, right? You, you're greedy. Basically, you're a hater, man. Right? You... you, you it's the same thing with the Pharisees and Sadducees in the, in the in the Gospels. They were greedy conveyors. They were damn haters, man. Let it not be once named among you as becoming the saints, right? Neither filthiness. So let's go into filthiness because a lot of people put their false interpretation on filthiness. Let's see what the Bible says, right? So filthiness goes into what? Shamefulness, obscenity, right? This the stuff that the heathens do, man. You know, putting. It's just defiling your temple, uh, cuck holding, um, all kinds of nonsense, man. Filthiness is not beauty and you desire sex and, oh, you're, you're not mature. Like, you, you people, especially religious people that's stuck on tradition, that's not what the Lord said, bro. No foolish talking. They'll take this out of context and try to flip it into something else. The Lord said, don't add or take away, man. This is why you have the blue letter Bible. You have, We're in the information age, bro. But foolish talking, buffoonery, man, silly talk, right? You exalt folly. I'm not exalting folly. I don't even know what folly is. Nor jesting, right? Making fun of people for no reason. Because they'll try to, I had an Edomite chick 
she tries to use this and say, you guys are just joking around, right? But uh, low jesting, man, in a vulgar sense. Uh, let me see. In a bad sense. That's what I'm saying, bro. Because you have two of them. You have humor, and then you have in a bad sense. See, that's, that's why I don't even pay attention to these people. But rather giving thanks, right? But for this, you know that no whoremonger, right? This is my beloved's. Be having libido. I have a super high libido and testosterone because I'm not finna whoremonger. I'd rather release seed, Leviticus 15, and I don't want no leftovers. I've always been like that since a baby. I didn't need to, whatever. Okay? Matter of fact, let's get into the word whoremonger. Because it's because, yeah, it's. We got to break this down because, again, everybody does not learn at the same pace. A man who prostitutes his body to another's lust for hire. So these are men who have sex for money. A male prostitute. A man who indulges what? In unlawful sexual intercourse. Right? Unlawful. According to what? The laws of Moses, man. A fornicator. You want a woman who's loyal to you. You want some wives who's loyal to you, man. See that? Hold on. So, <sighs> let no man deceive you. So I'm, so, I'm sorry, y'all. Nor unclean person, nor conveyors man, who is an idolater to people, envy celebrities, etc., hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Hamashiach, Christ, and of God. Let no man deceive you with the vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of Yahweh upon the children of disobedience. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. All right? This is why we're separate. Let's get to the point though. Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5, when you go into. Let me see. 25. Husbands, love your wives, even as Hamashiach also loved the church and gave himself for it. See that? When you go to verse 28, when you jump, so ought men to love their wives as their own bodies, right? If you love yourself, you're not going to destroy a weaker vessel, man. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. So using him as an example, right? For no man ever yet hateth his own flesh, using common sense. If you hate your damn self, you have a mental issue and a spiritual issue that needs to be, needs to be healed. But nourish it and cherish it, man. Even as the Lord, the church. So you got to know how to take care of your asha. You got to know how to take care of her mentally, spiritually, and physically, man. Being a husband is deeper than, you know, humbling her in the bedroom, man. All right? It's a beautiful thing. All these things are beautiful. Sex is pure. All these things are pure, man. But the scriptures, let me see. When you love, you love to love dearly. No, nah, there's no love in the scriptures. To love dearly, man. To be well pleased, man. When you see a woman, you should be well pleased. To be contended, uh, so like you. Contended at or with a thing. But in a special, in a social or moral sense, to love, man. Right? You love your own damn body. Let me see. See that? So you love your own wife as your own body. You got to know. this, And that's why, bro, Ephesians 5 and 31, this is why I be cutting you guys, man. Why don't be cutting the scriptures cut you? Right? Because you guys, a lot of you men and women, you preach against the natural order of God. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother. It didn't say cleave to the brothers. It didn't say cleave to your parents. It said, and shall be joined unto his wife. The Lord, the Lord did not design us to be super single and super one west chomo. No. And shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. Apostle Paul, bro, he just told you. You're going to knock down some doonies, bro. They shall be one flesh. That's the natural order of things. Not going to the world and figure out who you are. None of this stuff, man. That's why I don't tell my parents about 
intimate things that don't even make any sense to glue upon, to join oneself to closely, right? Intimacy, man, to stick to, not disloyalty and, oh, let me ruin it for everybody else. Not high value man, all this other nonsense. To glue, to cleave, to join, man. All right. That's why in the scriptures, when it says get to know a woman, matter of fact, I might have to get I might have to get that. I might have to get that too. Because uh the sensuous nature of a man. Hold on. This is the word flesh, man. Sensuous. It goes into attractive or gratifying physically, especially sexually, which proves my point. Like I always say, you're not finna get with a wife or a husband. You're not sexually attracted to. So all you people talking about you need to settle for an average looking woman because she's submissive and vice versa. That's that's you people projecting insecurities, man. OK. Y'all tripping, bro. Let me see. Carnally. That's why in passions. See that? Passions and carnally. That goes into what? Sex, man. Okay. Let me see. As a matter of fact, I think it's in uh it's in Luke actually. Hold on. I gotta I gotta go into Luke one. It was it was either Luke yeah yeah so Luke one. Let me see, it's when she said she knew not a man. Hold on. Okay, so the Greek word to know, which goes into becoming one flesh, which which is what I'm talking about, um, putting all the ingredients together, bro. All right, it's not robot, and and that's and that's one thing a lot of you brothers want. You want robots, bro. Y'all don't want no real virtuous woman, but to know a woman, it says what sexual intercourse. This is what the Bible says between a man and a woman to be acquainted to know. That's why we, that's why when you listen to the old R and B songs, what are they singing about? Making love to a woman, not young thug. Going to prison and smashing your father. Not don't trust a big butt and a smile. That's a that's a dumbass way of thinking. But when you know a woman, you understand her. So on a deeper note, when you're intimate in the bedroom and you know she screaming and moaning, etc., she's communicating with you and vice versa. Vice versa, deeper uh what you call it? Deeper feelings, man. That's why in the Old Covenant, the Hebrew tells you love goes into what? Becoming one flesh. It's not porn. It's not filthy. You know, all this other Christianity, whitewash nonsense. But yet, you're fighting against, you're fighting against your own damn nature. You weirdos. Y'all keep trying to pervert the ways of the Lord, bro. I'm not going to allow that. Yeah, let me see. To, bro, and then right here, definition three, by Hebraistic, Hebraistic euphemism, right, which is like your, your PG-13 and everything, basically, found also in Greek writings from, from the Alexandrian age, it says, uh, is use of the carnal connection of male and female, talking about knocking down them doonies. You see the word right here, C-U-M. Right, not to get explicit, but when you go into the English, we all know what that is. All right, actually, no, let me see. And, that, and there's different definitions, but C U M or come a Latin preposition meaning with a sexual slang term for semen, orgasm, or ejaculation. See that. But the Greek, wow, that's crazy. But our it says, our have a criminal intimacy with. Then it quotes Matthew 1, 25, 
And then Luke 1 and 34. See that? So that was on my spirit because I've been ready. To, I've been meaning to bring that out for like a couple months, actually. But loving your wife has your own self. You got to know how to take care of her, man. Teach her how to eat. If she's already if she's already an athlete, et cetera, et cetera, she got her head on she got her head on straight. Or whether she's not an athlete, she's a regular or regular woman that the Lord has given you, right? You're supposed to love her as your own body. Thus said Apostle Paul. You guys have not been nurtured by your mother. This is why you don't know how to love a woman. So that was on my spirit, man. But with that being said, peace and blessings and shalom.